Hello viewers, welcome to another section of my tutorial and I have a problem in applying electricity. So you say we should find the value of the current in all the resistors in this circuit using the total resistance and the voltage drop principles. So the question has restricted us to the principles we should use, meaning we are not supposed to apply the catch off loss here or to apply the current division rule. We are strictly using the total resistance and the voltage drop across the resistors. So let's see, to start, in this circuit, we have the source here. This source will produce a current and the current will pass through this resistor and a voltage drop will be across this resistor. So when the current reaches here, it will, ha it will have to split into two. Some will pass here and some also pass here. So when the one reaches here, when this one reaches here, it will also split once again and some will pass here. Now, when it reaches here too, it's going to sense that there is a free part here. Why don't I take that free part than to pass through this part where I will meet this obstacle? As well as there is another obstacle here. So when the current reaches this part, it will just move ahead to pass here then come back to the source down to pass here or also split again so this is a short circuit here so we say that the 5 ohm and the 7 ohm resistors have been short circuited so from here let's draw the effective circuit once again so you can see that the current in the 5 ohm and the 7 ohm is equal to zero so current in the 5 ohm and 7 ohm is equal to 0. Therefore, our circuit now once again becomes a 2 ohm. We will take the short circuited resistors out, leaving the ones which are effective. So here is a 3 ohm, 3.5, 4 ohm. 1 ohm, 25 volts, 2 ohm. So from here, we can see that this is the effective circuit. That is the circuit which are playing role or which are having effect in the circuit. So you can see that the 5 ohm and the 7 ohm have been short circuited. So no current will pass through. When the current reaches here, it will just move straight to pass here down to pass here or split. So from here, first of all, let's find the effective resistance or the total resistance of this circuit. So in this circuit, to find the total resistance, we know that this and this are in series because there is no node in between them. So the total resistance here is 3.5 plus 3. That will give us 6.5 ohms. That is the series connection of this. Now, this 6.5 ohms is in turn in parallel with this 4 ohms. Because when you combine, it will become a single resistor with a value of 6.5 ohms. And it will be in parallel because when you pass through the 4 ohm and the 6.5, you are not going to meet any other resistor or any other circuit element. Hence, they will be in parallel. So, the 6.5 is now in parallel with 4. So 6.5 is now in parallel with the 4, and the effective value is going to be 6.5 times 4 over 6.5 plus 4. So this will be 6.5 times 4 divided by 6.5 plus 4. And that will give us 52 over 21. So we get 52 over 21 amperes. So, sorry, 52 over 21 ohms because it's resistance. So once you get this, when you redraw the circuit, you are going to get our 2 ohm resistor here, the 1 ohm, as well as the one we have got here, which is the 52 over 21 ohms, the 2 ohms and the 1 ohms. So from here, we can see that 
the 52 over 21 is in parallel with the two ohms because there is a node in between them here then i can go through them without meeting any other circuit element but the one ohm is neither in parallel to this or this because if i traverse through the apart i'll meet this circuit element here so i have my two ohms being parallel to the 52 over 21 and what will be the effective value 2 multiplied by 52 over 21 all over 2 adding 52 over 21 so you just punch this on your calculator 2 multiplied by 52 on 21 then 2 plus 52 on 21 and this will give us 52 on 47 so we are going to get 52 on 47 ohms so from here we will combine and redraw the circuit once again and we are going to get something like this so here is our 52 on 47 ohms then we have our two ohms so with here you can easily see that there is no node in between these two resistors therefore they are in series so this is one this is one so therefore they are in series therefore i'm going to get the rt total resistance to be one plus 52 over 47 and that will give me one plus 52 over 47 99 over 47 so that one will give me 99 over 47 ohms so this is my total resistance of the effective circuit that is this circuit into consideration now what i'm left with is to find the total current to find the total current you know that it my it will be equal to vt over rt therefore my total voltage is 25 divided by the rt which is 99 over 47 so what will i get for the it which is 25 divided by 99 over 47 and that will give me written in decimals it's going to give me 11.87 amperes 11.87 amperes so this is the total current flowing through the circuit so now let's see they are saying that we should find the current in each resistor using the total resistance and the voltage drop approach so right now i found my total current and you can see that the total current that really passes through the one therefore we can see that the current through the one ohm so i one ohm is equal to 11.87 amperes so this is one of our results because once the current is produced from the source it passes through the one ohm directly so let's see the rest so right now using the voltage drops we can see that a voltage will be dropped at the one ohm and that will be equal to so v one ohm will be equal to one which is the resistance multiplied by the current passing through and that will give us 11.87 volts after this voltage has been dropped across the one ohm the remaining voltages sorry the remaining voltage that is going to be that's going to be 25 minus 11.8 volts 87 volts will be equal to 25 minus 11.87 that is 13.3 13.13 volts so this 13.13 volts will be the voltage remaining in this branch and that voltage will be the voltage across the two ohms here and as well as the four ohms here because they are in parallel so it will be the voltage across this and this because they'll be in parallel so from here you can say that the voltage across okay so right now what you do is that this entire circuit you combine them to give you just a single circuit so when you combine them to give you the single circuit you can see that the voltage across here and across here will be the same and that's going to be the 13.13 volts so right now we know that the voltage across the two ohm is equal to 
one three volts then what will be the current through the two ohms since we know the resistance to be two the current through the two ohm is going to be 13.13 over 2 and that will give us and that will give us 6.57 amperes 6.57 amperes so this is the current through the 2 ohm resistor now let's see first of all we know that in this circuit we have to combine this to get two branches then we can say that the two branches that is this entire system is in parallel with these two ohms so the same voltage will be across here and as well as this side so what you are going to do is that the voltage drop across this entire circuit here because when you combine them it's going to give us a single so that will be the parallel combination of this plus this 6.5 and this so when you combine them the voltage that will be across it that is so the, here's the circuit so here's a simplified circuit i can see so from here i can see that the voltage drop across here when you subtract it from the total voltage the remaining voltage will be the voltage across this in the 52 over 21. so right now i know that the voltage drop across this place is 52 over sorry across the 52 over 21 is the 13.13 volt so if i have this voltage i can also say that it's the same voltage across this entire circuit and now this entire circuit when you draw it you are going to get four ohms as well as the series combination of this so there is a node here so you have six ohms here 6.5 ohms as well as the four ohms so since they are in parallel because there will be a node here to the other circuit since they are in parallel we can say that the same voltage is across them so here the voltage across the four ohms that is v4 ohm is equal to the 13.13 volts so to find the current i4 ohm is equal to 13.13 all over its resistance that is 4 and that will give me 13.13 on 4 and that will give me 3.28 amperes so this is the current through the 4 ohm resistor that is the voltage across the 4 ohm as well as its resistance so let's see the remaining voltage that is since this 4 ohm is parallel to this 6.5 the same voltage is across them so the voltage across the 6.5 ohm is the 13.13 voltage or volts so since we have the voltage across and it is actually the series combination of 3.5 ohm as we have in the question then the 3 ohm so to find the v 3.5 ohm we are going to apply the voltage division here we apply the voltage division here so from here we can say that the voltage across the 3.5 is equal to the resistance 3.5 over 3.5 plus 3 multiplied by the total voltage across them which is 13.13 and that's going to give me 3.5 over 3 plus 3.5 times the total voltage across them and that will give me 7.07 .07 volts so this is the voltage across the 3.5 alone so to find the current across the 3.5 we are going to get 7.07 .07, which is the voltage over its resistance 3.5 so 7.07 .07 over 3.5 and we are getting 2.02 2.02 amperes as the current across sorry passing through the 3.5 ohms now finally let's find the voltage across the 3 ohm now this to find the voltage across the 3 ohm and applying the the voltage drop that is you apply the voltage division rule it will be equal to that is the v3 ohm 3 ohm 
That's the voltage across the three ohm will be equal to three over three plus three point five times thirteen point one three, and this will be equal to three over three plus three point five times thirteen point one five. Sorry, thirteen point one three. And that will give us 6.06 volts. So to find the current I3 ohm to be equal to 6.06 .06 over 3. And this will give me 2.02 amperes since they are in series. So you can see that since these two are in series, if you find the total, if you find the current in one, it's the same as the current through the other. So from here... This gives us the various current through all the resistors. So we started from the I1, where we had the total current to be 11.87 passing through the I1. Then the voltage drop across this one was the 13.13. We found the current through the I2 to be 6.57 amperes. We came to find in the 4 ohms, and we have 3.28. And since these two are in series, that is this and this, the voltage across them were the sum of the voltages in each so we find the current to be 2.02 2.02 since they are in series thank you this is the end of my video kindly subscribe and share